Hi. So I just went to my favorite coffee shop and oh, I've never even looked at the bottle. Pound cake. Got some pound cake. Okay, I've been drinking hot lattes as of lately. There's this one called the Palette. Oh my goodness. It's so good. I usually get it with either the caramel or cinnamon pound cake. Chef's kiss. Anyway, I just wanted to like have a moment. A moment. A moment. With you guys. Um. So for my podcast, let's get into it. On all your favorite podcast places now. Um. Anyway, I discussed my uh, detachment from social media and like I guess a little social media cleanse or whatever. Mainly Instagram because that is something that I scroll mindlessly and I'm like not really and it's it feeds into a lot of like insecurity things it feeds into a lot of external validation issues um people pleasing all types of shit so Instagram is my main like yeah no um TikTok I actually don't mind TikTok but it is also something that I defer to when I get to like have to deal with myself I find myself that I will like get on TikTok and just scroll aimlessly and that'll like give me something when like an emotion comes up especially like something regarding Brian or like you know just something I'm struggling with in life or you know just a, a challenge to think about I will default to social media and I'll be scrolling aimlessly and I want to be more involved I want to sit with my emotions more I want to feel them because that will help me learn to actually embrace them if I keep avoiding them it's easy for me to shun them um, whereas I can really learn to love myself if I give myself that time and space to be like, ooh, I want to cry right now. And instead of just running to social media to, like, dissipate the tears, sit with them, you know? Why do I want to cry? Be there for myself. Allow myself to express whatever it is I need to express. You know, all that good shit because I really have to love myself. Like, god damn. <laughs> is, I'm about to be 25 in four days. Like, come on, Keely. Like, and, you know, I'm not even going to beat myself up over it, but somebody's got to. And I'm, like, super cool, and I'm super dope, and it's so, it's like, I have so much to offer, so much to give, you know, I have purpose. But it's like, I inhibit my ability to embody my purpose every day when I neglect parts of me based on other people's issues and whatever and it's like no I'm done because I it causes way more internal conflict than there needs to be so I figure if I just detach and just turn inward and really love myself and create space for myself and really make being with Keely a safe space for Keely to be Keely then my reality will start to kind of reflect that and I will no longer be in places where I feel the need to compete for your attention and your time and your energy and your grace and whatever the fuck else because I give that to me off the rip off the rip ski off the dribble you feel me so somebody's like not really willing I can be aware of that and I can take the necessary space for me to exist peacefully extend them the grace and love that you know I would extend any person but not have this desire to like try to work it out of them um because I love myself too much for that, you know what I mean? Anyway, I just wanted to pop in, say hi, update you guys. So yeah, I was standing in line, and they like hadn't made my drink yet, because I ordered my drink, and then I went to the bathroom to fix my hair, because it was a fucking mess. And then I came back outside, and they like hadn't made anything yet, nothing was ready. I was like, okay, cool. I don't want to stand there and be like, where's my shit? You know, so I was trying to like distract myself by looking at my phone, and I instinctively pulled up Instagram, and I was like, no! No, that Keely, no. So I closed it. I'm not watching anybody's stories, no nothing. Like, I just want to be in my own freaking space. Like, but anyways, that's all I have to say. I'm going to go to work now. And...